you are on the hot seat, I would like a word with you. Ten questions, one word answers. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Lights, please. First question. In one word, describe working aboard a naval destroyer. Challenging. Next question. If you could have any job other than an actor, what would it be? FBI. Pick one of these guys to work with for the rest of your life. Michael Bay or Bruce. Bacon on a stick, a Shake Shack burger, or a chicken. If you could make a cameo in any show or movie, past or present, which would it be? I don't know, my dad used to watch it. Which uniform would you be more proud to wear? A Next question, if you could cure cancer, or world hunger. Zach Morris was in Grey's Anatomy. What would his nickname be? Duh. Next question and final question. Mm -hmm. If you could choose any other nickname and mix steamy, what? I mean, come on, it's a crazy <laughs> question to begin with. <laughs> Please, I'll be asking questions. Don't insult my questions. Eric Dwayne, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. We appreciate it. The Last Ship season three premieres June 12th. Lauren Shahidi created it as a way to celebrate kindness by putting a spotlight on women making an impact in their communities. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. I'm Hi. thrilled to be here. This is so cool. This is right, right up your alley. Totally up my alley. I know. I'm I thought so you would excited. love it. You know, I always tell my kids, you're doing great. I admire you. You are wonderful. And I was at work one day, and the to-do list, we can all relate to this, a mile long, the email inbox kept yeah. coming. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if one of these darn emails said, you're doing great. Mm -hmm. I did Secret Admire Her as a way for people to nominate women in their community who are doing wonderful mm -hmm. things. And maybe don't hear, you're awesome enough. And right? look, you're already doing the affirmations that we were talking yes. about earlier. Mm -hmm. Who lift me up. Have you seen so many of these stories? So many wonderful stories. One of the women, Jenna, that we're featuring online is a breast cancer survivor who said her wow. bra just didn't fit right. So she makes her life's work making bras for other survivors. And there's one story that we're going to spotlight today. It's a wonderful story between a mother yes. and a daughter. All right, Lauren. Oh my God. I'm, that right. was amazing. What an amazing story. I don't know if you guys can relate, but sometimes we take the people closest to us for granted. And Rebecca said it. She said, I knew that my mom was going to be there at my band concerts, at my band recital. She said, but it was just incredible that she was there now looking back, all the pain that she was going through. I just want to tell her, thank you. We don't say it enough. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't say it enough, especially to our moms. Uh, it, a good idea. Lauren, thank you so much. We want to hear from you. At a perfect exit to the game of baseball, David Ross lived it. He and the Cubs delivered a championship to the north side of Chicago. His teammates put him on their shoulders, and he was carried off into the sunset. After he enjoyed some downtime, he thought, why not get out of my comfort zone, try something new to show my kids it's okay to do something you're not good at? And that is exactly what he did. Next stop, Hollywood. So much fun in Los Angeles. David Ross is so competitive. His partner tells us he won't rest until he gets the routine right. He says he goes, he has a routine. He has a haircut and then a spray tan. I was like, now you're talking my language. <laughs> yes. That must not take very long. Yes, and then they practice all day and then the live show. He's ready to go. And this week, Monday, 8 Eastern, it is. What? How much practice time? They said seven hours a day, most people, but what? he takes it up to 10. If you, Dero, who would have been like, because David Ross is the first baseball player to do this show. In your in your 16 years, your wow. little vintage, who would have been the guy that you would have put on this I've seen show? a lot of guys dance in their underwear in the clubhouse. <laughs> I don't know, it's a tough one. Good morning. I mean, maybe our from, next guest coming up, Chipper. You're talking. Yeah, he's got, he's got like the two-step. He's got the country thing going. I feel Could like, you dance? Yeah. You're a good dancer? Yeah. Can he dance? I know he's on Dance with the Scars. It's pretty good. He can do anything he's he good. wants, yeah. David yeah. Ross. He got <laughs> you know, carried off the field on no, you shoulders know what I mean. Like what you're saying about your teammates. I'm embarrassed. Like I asked, must... Yeah, I, I asked him that. I said, why you and why, what, why did you want to do it? He said, you know what? It should have been Addison Russell. He can do a backflip standing. He nominates him next.